Hey you guys, it's Paul. Have you ever dipped something in melted chocolate and the next day it looked like this? Freckled with all these white spots, no sheen left to it. Oh, it's grainy. There's no snap. And it's already melting in my fingers. What a waste. The reason why this happened is because I didn't temper the chocolate. Tempering chocolate is a little bit scientific, but basically it means you melt it so it reaches a temperature of 110 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. You bring the temperature down to 82 degrees, then raise it back up to about 90 degrees. But what if you want to do this at home and you don't have a thermometer? Well, I'm about to show you how to temper chocolate without one, yet anything you need to dip or drizzle are still going to look really professional. When you learn how to temper, you're going to want to cover everything in chocolate. Here's how you do it. Take your measured amount of chocolate and place two thirds of it into a double boiler. Try to go for one that has at least 70% cocoa. Melt this over your double boiler until it's all nice and smooth and then take it off the heat. Now take that remaining third of chocolate that you'd set aside and add in half of it. This is called the seed. Now you want to stir this constantly so that the heat of the melted chocolate melts the new chocolate. With this method of tempering, the best thing you can do is to stir it constantly. When that chocolate first got heated, all of its molecules went out of alignment. Basically what this does is realigns all those molecules. Once that chocolate is all melted and smooth, add the remaining half of the seed chocolate. Now stir it vigorously again until all of this chocolate melts. This time it's going to take a lot longer, but whatever you do, if there's any stray bits of chocolate in there that refuse to melt, don't try and reheat it over the double boiler, just take it out. After a total of 8 minutes of vigorous stirring, all that chocolate eventually melted. And that's it! The chocolate's now tempered. If you stick the back of your finger in it, it should feel ever so slightly cool to the touch. Your newly tempered chocolate is ready for anything. Now that you know how to do this, go cover something with chocolate right now. If you enjoyed this video and you love art, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you soon!